tell you, I am actually a Georgia girl. Come on. I went to the University of Georgia. So go first dogs. and foremost, go dogs, right? We're about to have a real, it's tomorrow. There's a really big game. Will you, you know, be watching? I will. You know, I'm, I have to admit, I'm not a big sports person, okay. but we're for we're the playing, dogs. Playing football tomorrow. <laughs> things. I can't wait to watch all, all the home runs. Yeah, it's gonna yeah be no, 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 no. This, this is four quarters, <laughs> 10. No, the whole different than 10 yards into the goal. Um, yes. Well, go dogs. Go dogs. Um, now, we're here at Jingle Ball, and I've got to ask you, when you think back to that Ryan, who's growing up in Georgia, in high school, what would have been like your dream Jingle Ball lineup? I think when I was in high school, it was like um, Hootie and the Blowfish. It was the Counting Crows. It was um, some R.E.M. Yeah. Um, I think maybe I'd mix in some childhood Paula Abdul. Uh, yeah, I think those are the artists that I'm, I'm thinking back to my, my I'm trying to think of my graduation. What was like on the playlist? Yeah, what was on the playlist of my graduation, but those are some popular ones. Uh, what about now? Like, what is always like number one on your holiday playlist that you always play? I love Michael Buble. This guy is the greatest. I, he Everything he does is magic, and his Christmas music really changes your mood. If you, if you can't get ready for the holidays after Buble, you're not ready. You should just- You're the Grinch. Yeah, you're the Grinch. <laughs> you're not ready. Um, a big part of my holiday season is watching holiday films. I feel like it really gets me in the spirit. Ryan, if you could live inside any holiday film, which would it be and why? Home Alone Ooh. or Home Alone 2. Okay. Those are two classics that I always love watching. One, I love the Plaza Hotel. I had never yeah. seen it before until I saw it in Home Alone. Yeah. Uh, but I really want to see some of the, all these like irreverent Christmas movies this year. I keep seeing advertisements for some of these that are like, you know, irreverent Santas. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're seeing a lot of performances tonight, and you've been around music forever. You're always around music. For you at, the, at this point, what makes a really captivating or a special performance? What is that it factor for you? I think the crowd connecting and singing back to the artist, the song that they love. I always love that moment when uh, an artist gets on stage and you can watch every single person in the audience singing every lyric back to the artist. I think that's always magical, especially when you watch them around the world and see them in different countries and they only speak English and they're singing the lyrics back. But that's always pretty magical. And what is that song for you that you're going to be singing back to the crowd or to the artist? Um, it'll be a Jack Harlow song. Yes. I'm very Jack Harlow today. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that. yeah. I'm very Jack Carlin. Um, well, Ryan, thank you so much for your time. Oh, it's thank so you. nice to meet you. Go dogs, first and oh, foremost, and cool. enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye, guys.